short and sweet. This scene consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight objects. The four wheels of the car, the car chassis, the light which shines from the left, it's a directional light, and the blue surface. There are often cases, especially in compositing, where we need to render only the shadow of the car. Now let's have a look at the rendering as it is now. Go to Arnold and I render the scene and I have that long shadow of the car. I go to the Arnold renderer to see things interactively. I now switch the visibility to off. I really have to type in off. Now the car is gone, only the wheels are there because I didn't uh, make the, the wheels invisible. But the car is not there anymore. So I need to go back to that car and switch it on. That's not the solution just to render the shadows only. The solution is this. I select the car again, go to the attribute editor and in the attribute editor of the car shape of our object here in the scene, this the chassis in this case, I have an Arnold section and the Arnold section has visibility subsection where I just can tick off primary visibility. I see that the shadow of the car is being rendered as well as the shadows of the lights. If I want to make the whole geometry disappear, I need to do the same thing with the wheels. And this is the final animation, the shadow only. <laughs>